Hey folks, Steve Alcorn here with you once again, and today we're going to see some of these things that actually people will buy on eBay. It's been a while since I've done one of these, and I thought I'd catch you guys up. Now, obviously, you're not going to see everything I sold because that'd be a lot of stuff. But I'm going to show you a few things, uh, not the pick of the litter, just things that I've sold. And uh, maybe you guys can go out and find the same stuff. So I'm going to have to switch over. You might get some weird things. Look at that. You got that weird thing there. But we're going to go ahead and start talking about this stuff. All right. So the first item that we're going to show you today is a cell phone. This is a retail arbitrage item. Uh, I got this for $7.49 plus tax. And an active, not an activation fee, but there's a little fee they make you pay. When you, uh, when you buy a new cell phone, uh, this is just taken on the kitchen counter on a towel, uh, this photo, but, uh, I had about 15 of these. I'd want to say, uh, this one was one that was set aside and did get listed with the first 15, but sold about 15 of the, these for 39 99 a piece. Not a bad little, uh, flip paper Mario. If you guys don't know, paper Mario was a great game to find. Uh, this one I got for less than a dollar at a yard sale on a bulk buy, a uh, bunch of games. M mostly there was a few game cubes in there, but, uh, most of them weren't very good. Uh, this one was in phenomenal condition. So, uh, sold it for 139 and 99 and free shipping on that one. Uh, buyer hasn't left any good or bad feedback and it's been a while. So, uh, Good. I hope it, I hope it plays. It did for me. If you don't know about these Olympus cameras, Olympus stylus cameras, they come in this color. They also come in black and this is what they look like with the lenses out and all, uh, and open. Uh, these things are good. Uh, they're just a little point and shoot camera, film camera. Uh, and I find them fairly often a couple times a summer. Uh, I have that one and I have one more, uh, that I've got a list yet. I'm just waiting on a battery. Uh, this particular model sold for 60 bucks, 59 95 free shipping. Got excellent feedback on this one. The guy said he's already shot his first roll of film with it, and he's very happy with the camera. Sewing machines. There you go. Uh, you guys know if you've been watching the morning show that I've talked a lot about sewing machines. This is one of the lower end ones. I took a best offer of $100 on this one. Uh, probably have 20 bucks into it or less. I don't know on... I don't remember on the, each particular machine, but most of the time I have uh, 25 or less into them. Uh, so I wouldn't think that this one would be any different. This is a Singer 6233, and uh, it's sold. Haven't gotten any feedback on this one either, so I'm assuming it worked. I'm not going to show you any more of the sewing machines. Uh, I don't think. There might be one more in here, but uh, we sold a bunch. Uh, but it, it gets boring showing you the same kind of stuff all the time. That was just the cheapest one we found, or the cheapest one we sold was $100. So uh, we still made quite a bit of money on it. So this is Crash Tag Team Racing for GameCube. I think it came out with that same deal as the uh, Paper Mario, but it may not have. I don't remember. But regardless, I probably have about a dollar into it or less. This one had no instructions. The case was original GameCube, but the outside was torn off. So I sold it as disc, or it had instructions. I sold it as disc and instructions only. Uh, this one did have some scratching on it, but it did play. Uh, no feedback on this one yet, so I'm assuming it's all right. This is a retail arbitrage. I actually got it at Walmart. Um, it's the only one they had. It was $3.50. We sold it for $24.95. Not a bad ROI on that one. Uh, these I had forever. I've got, I'm sure, less than $5 into these shoes, $5 or less. I don't spend a lot of money on shoes because I don't know shoes, but I do know Timberland's a good brand. Uh, and sandals tend to do well, but these just sold it. I've had them for probably since the beginning of the summer. So uh, $39.95. I think I took a best offer of 30 on these plus shipping. So uh, they went out the door. They were in good shape, too. They were really nice. Uh, here's another video game. There's going to be a lot of video games tonight. This is Need for Speed Most Wanted. Uh, if you didn't know, this is actually a pretty good game. 
I don't know why. It sold for $34.99. Again, no feedback on it, so it must have done all right. I think this is one of the ones I resurfaced, uh, but I can't recall. But uh, you can see what all is in there. It was used when they, these people bought it. So, yeah, $34.99 for an old Xbox 360 game. Pretty damn good. There's another decent game that I got. Uh, Baldur's Gate. Dark Alliance 2. This is a PS2 game. Again, under a dollar into most of these games. A dollar or less than the most of them. Uh, this one sold for 50 I've had this one for a long time. Didn't even know it was a good game. So I just went through all my games and started going. This one did not have a manual with it. Uh, but it did have just the disc. So but somebody was happy to pay 50 bucks for it. And uh, we sold her. This is a golf watch. I paid $5 for this at the yard sale. It took a best offer of 50 on it, which is a pretty good return. The charger tends to go for about 20 20 to 30 uh, The watch itself, not so much. But if you throw them together, you can get 50 or 60 bucks out of them. So probably had it for about a week. Like I said, I paid $5 for it. Pretty good. Microsoft Zune. I want to say I paid a dollar for this. Uh, first, I've been looking for Zune for a long time. Uh, and this is the first one I've ever found. Now, this one had some condition issues. Somebody had scratched their name in both the side and the back, as you can see. But otherwise, it was in fairly decent condition. Some slight scratching on the screen. I did get feedback on this one, and they were happy with it, except for the updating of this thing. It's very hard to update one of these, apparently. So if you're Buying and selling Zunes, uh, you might want to be aware of that. TI-84 Plus Silver Edition. Uh, never thought I'd find one at a Goodwill. Found this at my local Goodwill, or one of my local Goodwills, for $1.99. Surprised the heck out of me. Listed it for $55 plus shipping, and it sold to whoever that buyback calculator place is in just a couple of hours. So, still a still good... Uh, uh, thing to buy if you see them who knew smackdown versus raw 2007 for the 360 this case was in bad condition uh, this came from the hoarder house that uh, i picked and a lot of the cases were worse than this one this is the only one one of the only ones that actually was oh, halfway decent but uh, you can see the big crack there in the bottom i wanted to make sure they saw that so it went in the first picture and then i even took i think another picture of it somewhere maybe i didn't uh, yeah, there it is. So SmackDown vs. Raw, $26.95 for that game. Pretty doggone good. That was a free game, by the way. This is also a free game. Also came out of the Hoarder House. Uh, this is Street 2, NFL Street 2. Again, $24.99 for an old sports game. Don't understand it, uh, but I'll sell them. Uh, this one, they complained that it was pausing or skipping on them or doing something weird. I asked them to open a return request, and I haven't got it back. So I don't know whether they're happy with it or not, but I did offer a, a refund on, upon return. This was a resurface disc, so there may be some issues with it that I, I missed. Again, it came from the Hoarder House, so it was free. Here's just an, I had sold a bunch of Wii's. Uh, this is just a representation of all the ones I've sold. Uh, this is a white one with uh, Wii Sports. Uh, I got $89.99 shipped for that. And all the ones that I had like this were about the same. So we had I bought four or five of these on the 127 sale. This is probably one of those. Uh, and I didn't pay much for them at all. Uh, this was a retail arbitrage item. Yokai Watch. It was $3. This is a brand new game. I sold five of these. Uh, I only put one in here tonight, but... I did sell five of them, so that was a pretty good find. There's a, I think there might be some other of these in tonight's uh, video. I sent some into Amazon, sold some on eBay, uh, but this was an eBay one, and it sold. Uh, they all sold within a couple of days of each other. Uh, this is a tiny serger, which is another type of sewing machine. It makes surges, I guess. Uh, also known as an overlock machine. I paid $15 for this at a yard sale. It was not new in the box. Well, actually, I think it was. But I took the thread out because the thread was deteriorated. When I do sewing machines and sergers and things of that nature, 
I make sure to fully 100% test these things. Uh, and because the thread wasn't any good on this, I did not, it was brittle because it was old. I did not include it. So they paid, I think they sent me a best offer for 70 and then they played, paid shipping on top of that. So uh, no feedback on this one. So that must have been okay. Here is something that may or may not be something you guys want to look out for. There is some co controversy as to whether you can sell this or not. There is a new type of this uh, machine that the Library of Congress put out that plays digital books. And it's some sort of thing that plugs in to digital book. Uh, and that is not legal to sell on eBay because it's allegedly owned by the government Library of Congress. And they give these to blind people so that they can listen to books. This particular one, however, is no longer in production, no longer made, uh, and it's my understanding that this one's okay to sell, but don't take my word for that. Um, I found this and the other kind at a yard sale, and the reason I know the other kind isn't okay to sell is because eBay pulled it, and they did not pull this one. Uh, I found this at a yard sale, bought them both, or at a state sale, bought them both for $4.00. I didn't know that they had a lot of value. I just know that they're old. This is an old cassette player, so I figured it had some value. Uh, I did not sell it for two fifteen. I did sell it for one hundred and eighty dollars, though. So if you come across these, these have some good value. The reason being is all those sliders on the uh, right side there. Musicians use those to make some weird music, I guess, with with uh, pre recorded music, and then they use the sliders and the different pitches and stuff like that to make uh, to make some pretty interesting uh, experimental music and they use this machine and that's why it goes for so much so and it's a good recorder too so that was a good sale there this was a really good sale I have one dollar or maybe even 50 cents into this one I went to a yard sale and it was a, a former Oldsmobile uh, what else a Toyota dealer uh, if you're from the area, it's Knobloch or Noblo Toyota. They no longer exist, but uh, his son was selling all this stuff. And this was something that I think only the dealer would be able to get. It says, keep it rolling in your dealership, Olds Momentum 77. I started this out at $9.99 on auction because I had no clue. Oh, this is a coaster, by the way. And it ended up selling for $34 plus shipping. So that was a really, really good find. I paid $50 for everything I got there. And I believe this is the second item I've sold, so I should be in the profit now. Okay, this is another retail arbitrage item. Uh, Walmart, if you didn't know, was uh, recently uh, discounting all their sporting goods and, and camping stuff and things of that nature. Uh, and these were $11 a piece. I bought two of them, and this buyer bought both of them off me. So I sold both of them for $39.99 each and uh, shipped them out. So two brand new gloves, pretty good uh, ROI, and they sold within a couple of days. So this is Michael Jackson, The Experience. Again, who knew that this game was worth anything? Uh, this one had a $16.99 sticker on it. I typically sell these for $17.99. I didn't feel like pulling the sticker off, and I didn't want to hear, well, you charged me more than what it says on the sticker. I, I just did it. Cause I have a few of these. Uh, so I just sell them as they come in. As I, uh, one gets sold, I uh, put a new one up and then I change the price to whatever I feel like. These typically sell for anywhere from $17.99 to, to, uh, you know, in the twenties, low twenties. Uh, but this one I sold for $16.95. So that's good. Michael Jackson, who knew, right? People love this game apparently. Uh, now this one, one buyer bought all nine sets, so that's 18 of these, and they paid full price for all of them. So $15.95 a set, I, they, I probably had some sort of discount if you buy more than one or something, I don't recall. But anyway, it came out to $143. I have $1.75 into each item, so that's $1.75 times two. Uh, so three fifty dollars is that what that is? So $3.50 for... That and I uh, each, so times nine, and then I, I got $143 for them. So that was another retail arbitrage item that went really well for me. Here's an old phone set. Uh, I had this for ages. 
but it finally sold. I, I sold it for $29.99 plus $6.90 shipping. It's a Panasonic. Probably nothing spectacular about it. Um, just sent this one out, I think, today. Maybe yesterday. I don't recall. But uh, either way, hopefully it, everything works out for the buyer. And I did test all these. The batteries were good. Uh, I even show a picture of that, the batteries in them and all that. So hopefully everything works out. And uh, glad to see those gone. Here's another video game, Jackass. Um, again, a game I didn't think would have much value, uh, but does. So we sent that one out again, I think again yesterday. Yesterday or today. Maybe Tuesday. Uh, but anyway, hopefully it all works out with that one. That's another resurfaced game. I don't have a lot of confidence in my resurfacing abilities at this point, although they work for me, sometimes I have gotten some returns on them. So I don't know if it's me or, or what, but, uh, or they're maybe sending me back the old one. I have no idea. I don't care if that's the case. I'll resurface it again and sell it again. Uh, NFL street three, not as much as two, uh, but still got $15 for this one. Again, another game that I never thought would have that much money or be worth that much money, but, uh, it is. $15 sold. Rayman Legends. This was a yard sale find. I paid a dollar for it. Uh, not much to say about it. I don't have a Wii U, uh, but I was assured that it was working. So I wrote, tested, and played in there. And hopefully it does come back. And if it does come, it doesn't come back. And if it does come back, I'll just refund the money. I'm okay with that too. So let's see what's next. This is a cool one. Um, uh, I want to say I paid a dollar ninety nine for this at a uh, Goodwill. This is a Goosebumps Scary Squirts. They're very hard to come by. They're very rare. Um, I guess they squirt water. I'm pretty sure that's what they do. But this is the shrunken head version. I had it listed for twenty nine ninety nine for a long time, but I decided to send some offers out to buyers and. Uh, I sent the offer for $24.99 and somebody bought it. I don't know if you guys have been noticing my feedback score, but it's gone down a point. Does that mean I got some bad feedback? We'll have to check that. Let's check it now. Let's hope not. No. Huh. Nope. No, nope, we didn't. All right, what's next? So this was a quarter of 50 cents, probably 50 cents at a yard sale a weekend ago or two. Uh, I looked this up and it was worth 15 bucks. So I listed it and it sold within a couple days. So who knew? I looked it up because it was different. I don't know this guy, but it looks like, you know, something people might want and it might be harder to find. So I'm going to guess he's a comedian. I didn't look at, at it too much. Uh, but it did play. I threw it in the, the disc player, made sure it started up and stuff, but I didn't listen to it. I just, uh, it sure worked, and it did, and uh, we sent her out. Here's another camera. Uh, I don't, did I have another camera on tonight? I don't think I did. Oh, yeah, I did. I had the Olympus. Uh, so this is a Minolta Hymatic AF2 35 millimeter point and shoot. I got the full 100 bucks for this, plus shipping. Uh, I did some non-film testing, and I always say that this is not uh, film tested in the... Uh, in the uh, listing, if I don't film test them, I do. There are some cameras that I will try to film test, but this wasn't one of them. Uh, I listed it at the high end of what these go for, and I got it for some reason. So I uh, forgot to put the uh, manual in the picture, but there she is. What's this? That's my wife sending me some photos that we got to list. All right, so here's... I got this at a yard sale. I bought a... I think there was 19 or 20 games in there. A lot of 3DS games, a lot of DS games, and a, a few PS2 games. Um, I didn't even look any of them up. Mario Kart DS was in there. Not a high-end game, but, you know, I knew that was worth something. And there was a couple other small games that I knew had a little bit of value. And I saw this in there, and I'm like, well, this one looks like it has some value. So when I got home, I looked it up. Well, I paid 35 I sold this one for $39.99. The rest of the games, all the DS games, I sold for 41 I think, on my auction on Monday night. And 
I still have all the PS2 games. So, uh, pretty good deal there. Uh, and it was a four o'clock in the afternoon, by the way. So I never stop. If there's a yard sale and I'm out doing something and I see it, I'm going to stop. Four o'clock in the afternoon and I got that deal. So that's a pretty good one. Here's another uh, video game that I didn't think was worth much, but turned out to be worth $12.99. Uh, Midway Arcade Treasures 2. I have a couple of copies of this one, so uh, I'll get the next one listed. Probably could use most of the same pictures. I do like to take another picture of the disc, but you can see I was being very lazy with the photos here. I just threw up some bubble mailers, and that was that. <laughs> it works, so. Uh, really small sale here. Uh, this one wasn't in fantastic condition. Had blemishes. It was missing the stickers on the top and the bottom. But it's from 1981, and people like this sort of thing. So I listed this one at the low end of the value uh, range. But I did ask shipping on it. So we got 99, 9.99 plus 3.75 shipping. And it sold. It took up about a month to sell. Here's another Michael Jackson. This one I did get 17.99 for. But if you notice up here in the corner, it is the exclusive Walmart one. It has a an extra track on it. Doesn't mean it sells for much extra, but. Uh, it did sell. So then we got an iPod. This one sold today, I believe. We got $30 for this little iPod shuffle, uh, A1204. I guess this is a second gen. Uh, it came with a charger. Why the charger looks pink in the photos, I have no idea. My lighting was off that day. I couldn't get anything right. And uh, that was that. Anyway, this one sold today, uh, shipped out today anyway. And we got shipping on top of that. So that's pretty good. And finally, another one that sold today. Uh, and you can see I'm getting pretty lazy with the photos anymore. This is on the kitchen counter. Uh, and I apparently have some breadcrumbs on the counter there in the corner of the picture. Yeah. Uh, this is, a, I believe, a discontinued item. True Air Odor Eliminator. Uh, still not worth a ton of money, but a little bit. So we paid... Two seventy-five, I think, for these. I sent most of them in the Amazon, and they sold pretty quickly. Uh, but this one had some yellowing on the package, so I sold this one on eBay, and we got what we were asking for it. So that is the solds. We're gonna go switch back over to me. Where I am? That is the solds for. I don't know. I don't know. If last half a month or so. Uh, that's not all of them. That's some of them, but. Uh, Thought I'd share them with you guys, and uh, hopefully you guys can learn something from them. Maybe a few things to look out for. Look out for those video games. Right now they're just selling like crazy and, and titles you never would expect to sell. So that was probably the biggest lesson out of this one. Uh, sewing machines tend to, are slowing down a little bit right now, but they're still selling too. So uh, just keep out there, keep looking, and uh, sweet water out.